everyone and today I have my November favourites video and I've been trying out so many different products this month so I have quite a lot of different favourites which I haven't actually talked about on my channel yet and I'm so excited because all of these products I've been loving so much and some of them are ones that I've kind of rediscovered throughout the month of November and I've loved before but I've kind of just like let them drift away and now I've found them again which I'm so excited about. So my first favourite this month has been the Hot Mama Blush from the Balm and it comes in a little package like this and then you open it up, open the little sleeve up and it's in this little kind of like cardboard box kind of thing and then you open it up like this and this is the colour it's a really really pretty colour I have it on today really lightly it's kind of like a peachy corally colour and it really really reminds me of um, NARS Orgasm and it feels so smooth and buttery I'll do a close up to show you what it looks like and the colour is so nice it's like a really nice subtle colour like no matter how much you put on it doesn't look too intense because like it's not, it is really pigmented but it's really light so like no matter how much you put on it just still looks really pretty. Also the gorgeous golden shimmer through it makes it look even more stunning so I've been loving this, I've just been putting it kind of along here on my cheeks and it just looks makes my skin look so healthy and I also love the packaging as well so shout out to this product here. I've also pretty much rediscovered my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder and it just comes in a little plastic thing like this and I think this was only like 3 euro or something which is so expensive for a powder and the reason why I've been loving this so much is because I've been using it to set it under my eyes, like my T-zone area and then also my chin, like the areas where I highlight. I've kind of went off my kind of, um, you know, like pigmented powders, like not translucent powders, like the one with colour in them because I find just when I put them on it just like adds colour to it and then it just ends up matching my foundation so it doesn't look like I've highlighted it at all. So that's why I like using translucent powders under my eyes and stuff because it doesn't add any colour whatsoever. And I've been loving this brush for using it. This is the um, Tarte, I think it's just the Kabuki brush set, I think, like the dual ended one. And it comes with this really dense little side here and it's really 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 dense so what I do with my powder is I take some of this on and then set it under my eyes like this really kind of heavily and then I take this angled side and that's when I kind of just pat it into my eyes like that and this works so well it feels so smooth and it doesn't have any colour whatsoever and it makes my foundation last really long and also my highlight as well and it's really good and really inexpensive for the quality of the product and also this brush is really good they, like these two are like a wee match made in heaven like they're so really good also this month I've rediscovered my Benefit Highbrow and I used to love this so much if, if you've been watching my videos for a long time you would have known I used to use this quite a lot and it's basically just like this um, pinky like really cool pinky colour and it just goes under your eyebrows and it really just does lift your eyebrows it makes them look really sharp and precise I have it on today as a base for my highlight and the colour is just so brightening it's so creamy and it blends out heavenly and it's really good if you love like, sharp defined brows it's really really good so I really like this as well I've also got a little bunch of lip products which I've been really loving this month and especially this MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy which I have been loving this has literally been a sensation over the past few months ever since Kylie Jenner apparently uses this on her lips and it's such a beautiful colour it's not the colour that I have on now but I will be talking about this in a second but this is basically like a brownie warm toned nude colour it's really nice but it's not one of those nudes which just kind of blanks out your lips it's one of those nudes which makes you look really classy and sophisticated and I just love the colour and this is a matte formulated lipstick from MAC in the shade Velvet Teddy as I just already mentioned and it's just so nice it doesn't feel drying on my lips this is the first matte um, lipstick that I've had from MAC it doesn't feel drying on my lips whatsoever um, so I'd highly recommend it. Another thing which I've been loving for my lips is basically like the same kind of colour as the um, MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick but only in a different kind of concept. This is the Too Faced Melted Li Liquefied Long Wearing Lipstick and it comes in a little tube like this and I see loads of people raving about these and it has a little doof foot applicator at the end and it's just basically like a lipstick only it's like a in a tube form it just feels like a lipstick on your lips it has the pigmency of a lipstick and it's amazing and I will do a close up to show you the colour and it's amazing I love it so much I've also really been loving these Bourjois Rose Edition Velvet um, Lip Lacquers I think they are um, they're matte finish lipstick kind of things they're like basically like that Too Faced Melted thing only in like different packaging and then I have different colours the one which I'm wearing today is Velvet 07 which is this colour here and this is really nice they basically come in a little kind of tube like this and then I have like a different applicator at the bottom so it's really good to get around your lips and these are also really highly pigmented I have this one in 07 which it's kind of like a purpley mauvey colour and then I also have this one in 04 and this is also a matte finish and it's kind of more of like a pink pinky ready coral colour which is also pretty so I will do swatches to show you guys these and I would recommend them last all day they're matte finish so they don't they actually don't feel drying on the lips surprisingly which I thought they would have but um, I really do like them so uh, 04 is in Peach Club and 07 is in Nudist which is really nice this is the one I have on now I love them so much. Another favourite which I've been loving so much, this is my Lorac Pro Palette and ever since I've got this I've been using it every time I've been wearing makeup. I haven't used any other palette since. And I also have a review coming on this 
in and it might already be up by now so I will leave a link to it in the blue bar if it's up but it just comes with eight matte colours and then eight shimmer shades and the colours are amazing. I especially love garnet, taupe and light pink like for example this colour called garnet I'll just do a swatch just to show you guys like look how pigmented that is and I'll do a swatch of gold which is this really nice like antique gold colour look how pigmented they are like they're unreal and if you're looking for a really good palette if you're starting out makeup which has a range of different colors i recommend this it's just so convenient all the matte colors and the shimmer shades they're actually amazing i just love this palette so much another favorite which i have rediscovered this is the naked urban decay flush palette and i think they actually do different versions of these and i'm not too sure what version mine is but I think they do a range of different colours and shades. But this is what it looks like inside. It comes with a bronzer, a highlight and a blush. But the reason why I love this so much is because of the bronzer. I have the bronzer on today and I used to love this so much. And it's just so, it's like not too orange and it's not too like grey tone. It's pretty much in between. And also the highlighter is actually really nice as well. But it's a little bit too pink for my skin tone. So I would kind of mix it in with the blush. I really love the bronzer because it's so buttery and it just blends like a dream on my skin. And it's such a really nice colour. And sometimes I would use this as like an all over face powder for days which I'm not wearing makeup but I want a little bit of colour as well so it works really good for that so I'd really recommend this little palette and also the packaging is pretty as well. And finally my very last favourite of November is the Tarte Flawless Clean Slate Flawless 24 Hour Brightening Primer and this is my second bottle of these. I've loved this so much. It's pretty much just like a primer for your under your foundation but the reason why I like this so much is because it's so brightening and it smells amazing. It's just like a white cream and then you blend it out and it has this really subtle iridescent glow to it um, you probably can't see in my hand but when you let it settle into your skin it just looks so nice and it's just a really good clean slate basically for your foundation I like what it says on the bottle and if you're looking for a good primer really good for people with dry skin because it is really moisturizing um, and sometimes I would actually use it as a moisturizer which is weird but I really love the feel of it on my skin it's amazing if you've got dry skin and you're looking for a good primer which is silicone free, waterproof and brightening, I'd recommend this, it's so good. So that's basically all my November favourites. I didn't really have any kind of perfumes or anything this month just because I've been using pretty much what I use all time round but I've been trying quite a lot of different makeup which I've just shown which I love. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy and I will see you in my next one. Bye!